Me and my team have been very inspired by the Slav epic paintings. Just the fact that they're called the Slav epic sets up an expectation that you're going to then say, well, I don't think they're that epic. They are so epic, the scale of them, the intensity, the richness, and their use of colour is so visceral and powerful. They are like stained glass windows, each. And so at Savarin, in the heart of historic Prague, like the heart of the whole development set behind the historic facades around, I feel that we're making an underground cathedral. It's not an art museum in any conventional sense. There will not be other artworks brought in and out. We are designing the architecture in and around these phenomenal paintings in the same way that the Gothic cathedral builders built their cathedrals around the stained glass windows that brought them into a resonating vibration for people. We have that chance now for the building itself to be the frame, to be the cathedral that elevates these and makes them truly public as he always intended from a national perspective and they never had that chance yet. For us, this project has been about leaving the street block that this development is in, and it's more like we're creating an urban room for everyone in Prague to come together. And so it sort of seems fitting that the, the Slav epic space is a room itself. It's not a standalone icon building that you look at, the icon is the paintings themselves. The site is full of constraints, but actually those constraints, I believe, will make the magic for it. Instead of a brand new shiny museum, we're embedding the Slav epic in the ground of Prague and the nation. And it's the root of our whole development of the public space that's all around, set behind all the historic facades in the historic heart of Prague, I hope will be the symbolic beating heart of a reinvigorated historic centre in Prague. Something that I particularly love about Mucha's paintings, and he himself was a sort of Renaissance polymath who thought and worked in multiple creative ways and wasn't limited in the way that so many professions have limited themselves. Even though he's a painter and we design architecture, I feel an enormous inspiration and affinity for the way he's determined to make sure that the paintings he made connected with people. And I think he was determined to make a bridge somehow between us all in society and pull us together and have something that we could rally around. And in our own studio's work, we've had the chance to work on public national scale projects and somehow similarly seen our role of being to bridge together the diversity of a nation and so many different types of all of us to rally us round something. So there's a symbolic job of togetherness that he was interested in that certainly inspires me and my team in what we do now.